What's you guys? Welcome to Game Take. Today we're taking a look at head tracking. Now head tracking is really useful in game and uh, what we want to do is just take a look at the different ways you can do it. Now one thing with head tracking is when the software is downloaded into your computer, unless you've got your head tracker on in most games I've found, you can't just use your look left, look right on your keyboard for example or button box or whatever. Um, so the way I do it is I use a USB stick and then I can put it into the game if I want it and not in the game if I don't. So because there are times you don't want to be messing about putting head trackers on and all the rest of it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay guys, so you want to head over to open up a browser, head over and type in Open Track Software. That's the software that I use. There are other different ones, but that's I've found to be the best. And we want to go down to Download, head over and go down to GitHub. Open up your GitHub page and then you want to head across to releases. And there you can see you've got the open track 2.3.11 and uh, go with the latest one up on the top and just click that. And save it into your downloads folder. And then what you want to do is put your USB stick in find it on your computer right click it and what we want to do is we want to format it just a quick format should do the trick so we'll do that erasing data we know all that so just format it so that's the only thing that's on it it doesn't need to be a massive uh, USB stick okay then back to downloads and then what we're going to do is we're going to move and send this open track software over to that USB stick. So that's now on there. Then you want to have a look for CLI test if you just bought your kit. Now CLI test, there are different ways you can uh, get this software. There's paid ways, etc. There are free ways. I suggest you do the paid way. It's not very expensive. It's only a couple of quid. Anyway, once you open up CLI I test it normally opens up like this and the camera, your PS3 i camera is looking at you like this so what you need to do is turn off the gain turn down the exposure and you'll be left with this providing you've got your head tracker plugged in and your USB stick is in come across now and go to your USB stick now we're going to open up the actual software Accept all the user controls, etc. You know, the usual things. We're coming down to find it. We're going to accept all the different things. Let it open up a folder, etc. But this is all opening up on your actual USB stick. Okay, and then once you've opened up your track hat software, this is what you should be looking at. Now it's important to remember with the CLI test, once you've set it up to shut it, basically close it down. Come into your USB stick, and up open track, open up the open track folder, and there you'll see your open track. There are many different little bits. Have a look around, have a play with it. But the settings that it comes with are the best ones. A seller, definitely you want for the filter. And there you can see it. And that's just straight out of the box. We are going to go into the setup, etc. any second now. Go into your options. Now, first thing I always do is to set myself up a binding, as you can see, of for just to recenter it. You can do one for all the other ones if you've got buttons and button boxes. I've got mine on a foot pedal, which I use. Uh, it was a cheap four quid foot pedal that I found online. Basically put it with a USB joystick encoder and it works, so. Okay, now I don't mess with any of these settings too much because uh, I found you can get yourself into a bit of a world of hurt if you mess about too much with this software. And uh, for ETS and ATS, it's probably not needed to mess about with this, to be truthful. For other games, maybe it is, I'm not too sure. 
Okay, so if we open this up, we can see we've got our three your pitch roll X, Y, and Z. X, Y, and Z. Oh, now I put all these down to flat. All right, the X, Y, and Z. Now there are a few changes that I tend to make. I tend to change this down to 50 milliseconds and then we go down and undo the automatic threshold tick. Now if you look down the bottom it, it shows you what the settings are here. But what I do is I bring it down to the lowest point at which it still says OK. If you go right off you'll see it says how many cameras are, are looking at you and it's it's bad. Or we get to the lowest point for me this works you might have to play about a bit maybe automatic might work for you but for me the lowest setting where the uh, free still say okay and then come back over and we need to start making the curves now to slow our head tracking down so i find that if i bring for my looking right if i bring mine in and have a quick look you can see it's still quite fast. Okay, so now that we've all tabbed out, I'm going to show you what happens. You can see in there it was miles, miles too fast. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens if you first off enable these. And we should just keep going backward and forward in the edge. I didn't do the bottom one of that one. And I, I don't tend to use these actual game. Okay, so we'll leave that like that. And if I go back into the game now, you'll see that if I lean forward, or if I lean back, and if I lean forward, but can you see it goes down and up and it gets just a little bit too much for me. I can't, I can't, I can't get my head around it properly. So, so we get rid of those. Your pitch is your up and down. Now that's normally all right in ETS to be honest with you, but if you wanted to make it slower, basically put a point in it, point at this end, take that back up and then just bend it. Same with this, put a point in and then you can move and adjust your point. Oh, it's quite hard to get the bits in the right spot and just bend it whenever you want to slow something down just put a bend into it okay so if we were to go back to ETS now now remember the up and down instead of looking straight up now it look I'm having to really tilt my I'm tilting my head right back nearly so that's slowed that right down and won't let it go up to anywhere so that's all right so before we go and change the other one though we want to see exactly what we want to do in the yaw so when I would normally be looking at a mirror somewhere around about there, not that's fine, it's it's quite slow to there, but then it goes, woo! That's crazy. So basically come back in. Anyway, I'm gonna get rid of these. Just right click on that one, gets rid of that dot. Right click on that, gets rid of that one back up because normally your up and down is absolutely fine in ETS the roll I don't bother with because all that twisting at side angles and all that in this game you don't need it but if you're in a flight sim you you would probably want that if you're in a dog fight or something in which case you would do the same as you're going to do in your which we're about to do so when we look in left can you see where that kink is just there that is the bit that's jumping so the best thing I've always found is to take out the points like so. Now I know when I look there that's about 20 something degrees. So we just put a point in there, wait for it to go to the little arrow, drag it all the way up to the top, take it in a little bit. Right, and then what we want now is to put in a point there and maybe a point there. Sometimes it's hard to know and we want a really nice curve like so but we also want it to be going back when you're looking straight you want it down here which is where it is so now the right hand one needs to be cl 
closer for me so once again right click get rid of it I'm going to put a point at about 15 degrees now because the reason it's this for me is because I'm using triple screens yeah it won't be this bad for you if you're using a single screen you probably want it if you're looking 20 20 plus degrees you want it probably about there but because I'm using this I need it to be relatively fast but I also need a decent curve like so let's go into ETS back in with your alt tab and let's see where we are so if I let's do the left one first that's quite slow around to that so if you were driving it's still a little bit fast actually but that's definitely better and you can look at it. now right I'm driving along I'm going to look to the right do that again yeah I don't want it too fast and that's yeah that's going a little bit too far that one so looking to the left it's a little bit too fast so just give it a bit more of a curve but it's also going a little bit too far so bring that down a little bit so we'll set it like that for a moment see if we can get it to slow down a little bit the right hand one it was going round it was all right actually so let's try that again Right's good because you can look right behind you. Driving along, blah blah blah. Indicate in. Mirror in. So that's nice to there, but and it's just that bit. And I think the only way to do that is to take that up and bring it around that way a bit. Let's try that. Yeah, see, that's me controlling my head round to get to that now, so that's quite nice. I'm quite happy with that so let's just uh, let's see what it's like when we come near to a road obviously I've got those mirrors in but if I was looking at my other mirror that's quite nice So if I wanted to, I can actually look right there. I can come right back on myself. So that's quite nice. Uh, my recentering's working, but my, I haven't actually set the uh, the dashboard up on this. So. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And we can just flick that back in. As you uh, start using it more and more, you'll pick up little bits and make little adjustments. Don't be frightened to make the adjustments. So I was for ages, and then that's another one of the beauties of having it actually on um, a USB stick you can just wipe the stick you haven't got to uninstall it from your computer you can wipe the stick and start all over again if you need to Okay, so let's turn that off. So I should probably make some little adjustments as I go. 
but I think that's pretty much it so we'll just come out of that for a second so basically all of these x y and z unless you want that in and out or you're using it for uh, flight sim or anything like that I would have off one thing I do want to come in and show you is setting up the executable now I need to shut the game off first actually now okay so to put in your executables you come into options and you've got your executable here so you come into your games folder I'm gonna come into here steam apps common euro truck bin x86 application and that comes up with your thingy bob and just click ok so let's go through these little bits once more just see if there's anything you can change i've changed my dynamic pose timeout to 50 milliseconds that's the one i've always used maybe it's wrong maybe it's right come to your model mine as you can see is on the clip you want if you've got a hat make sure you cap or if you've got your own made your own custom one mine's a clip and it so you could put your own proper sizes in here would be good yeah it tells you which ones are which but you need to measure it all i haven't done that that you always want to be on the seller now if you want to do the smoothing all right you can do it in here now i always leave it as it is because once you start messing about with this yeah you can get yourself into a world of hurt yeah and to be honest with you i think you can do more in your, your pitch and roll part on this than you can do with this but soothing it wants to be a fair fair way up here um this is much easier than the track hat software because the track hat software has got even more configuration and um, that's even more confusing so basically i leave it where it is but if you do want to give it a bit of extra smoothing uh, or take a bit of the dead zone out of it just be careful because it's a lot of playing around okay all right so guys i think we're pretty much done i always basically whenever i'm playing the game i just minimize mine down and then it's down here if you need it best thing to do is always remember you need this open first before you open your game you won't have to keep going into the cli test once you've set it up the first time taking down the gain and and the exposure that's it it, it will do it automatically then recommendations i i did have track hat yeah i had the uh wireless one i had a lot of problems with it. it 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 does still work but it won't work wirelessly that only lasted literally about four weeks millions of like emails and things to uh james over at track hat no response it just passed over to some company that was doing his his bidding if you will so i gave up with that i bought myself the delan clip which is what i've got on now and this has been absolutely superb not a problem with it i know it looks a bit like oh it's got bare wires on one side and all that but forget about that this is simple and it's effective it, it is i recommend this to everybody so it's a delan clip i've got a ps3 eye camera and you won't go wrong you really won't just uh, googling delan clip let's have a quick go over to there and i'll show you where it is actually delan clip oh they're on amazon now well delan engineering is the where the clip comes from there she is there i didn't realize you could get a uh, worldwide shipping uh it's fully compatible with track ir so you can use it as a replacement all right so the delan clip with the camera 44.98 yeah that's a lot cheaper than i've got the track hat for uh there is this one they're doing now that looks very much like the track hat anyway guys that is that one i'm going to end it there i hope this has been helpful and uh i'll uh, catch you in another one bye for now